plaster cast bust of George Washington by Jean Antoine Houdin based on a life mask cast in 1786. A plaster cast is a copy made in plaster of another three dimensional form. The original from which the cast is taken may be a sculpture, building, a face, a pregnant belly, a fossil or other remains such as fresh or fossilized footprints. Particularly in paleontology. Sometimes a blank block of plaster itself was carved to produce mock ups or first drafts of sculptures that would ultimately be sculpted in stone, by measuring exactly from the cast, for example by using a pointing machine. These are still described as plaster casts. Examples of these by John Flaxman may be found in the central rotunda of the library at University College London, and elsewhere in the university's collections. It may also describe a finished original sculpture made out of plaster, though these are rarer. Face casting process, with plastered bandage plaster is applied to the original to create a mold or cast of the original. This mold is then removed and fresh plaster is poured into it, creating a copy and plaster of the original. Usually very elaborate molds were made out of several to even dozens of pieces, to cast the more difficult undercut sculptures. Plaster is not flexible, therefore the molds were made as 3D jigsaw puzzles for easy removal of the original and the cast from the mold. Later gelatin, rubber and silicone molds were used, backed by plaster or polyester for support. The practice of reproducing famous sculptures in plaster originally dates back to the 16th century when Leon Leone assembled a collection of casts in Milan. He collected as many of the most celebrated works, carved and cast, antique and modern as he was able to obtain anywhere. Such private collections, however, remained modest and uncommon until the 18th century. Use of such casts was particularly prevalent among classicists of the 18th and 19th centuries, and by 1800 there were extensive collections in Berlin, Paris, Vienna and elsewhere. By creating copies of ancient Greek and Roman sculptures held at various museums across Europe in this way, a reference collection of all the best and most representative sculptural types could be formed. At a fraction of the cost of purchasing original sculptures, which scholars could consult without necessarily having to travel abroad to see all the originals. These casts could also be used in experiments in polychromy, reconstruction, and for filling holes in a museum's collections of actual sculpture. Formula plaster of Paris idiot to the west court of the cast courts of the Victoria and Albert Museum. The technique was also applied later that century to reliefs from ancient Egypt and friezes from Mesopotamia, as well as to medieval and Renaissance sculptures. In the early 19th century, for example, perhaps as an expression of national pride, casts were made of outstanding national monuments particularly in France and Germany. As well as those locations mentioned above, classical cast collections may be seen at the Museum of Classical Archaeology at the University of Cambridge at the Ashmolean Museum in Oxford, in the Royal Cast Collection in Copenhagen, and the Bellarmine Museum of Art at Fairfield University. The British Museum also holds classical casts, but these are currently all in storage. Thanks for watching.